Hello again, this is Brian Lindley, producer of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Today we're going to be giving you an extended look at Garden Ops, our online cooperative mode on the Xbox One. We're also going to be showing off some of our customized plant characters. To start off, we're going to be following the Ice Pea Shooter here, as the plant team establishes their garden base. Now once the garden base is planted, the zombie attack will begin in mass. With the garden planted, the plant team will start to set up their defenses before this first wave. Pea Shooter is planting a Daisy Health Station. Here we're looking at the mystical sunflower. She's going to plant a fume shroom. And the cactus is going to deploy some walnut barriers. With the countdown finished, the plants dig in for the first wave. Let's take a look at the mystical sunflower. Unlike the normal sunflower, she can hold down the trigger to charge up her primary weapon to do a much more powerful blast. Similar to the Mystic Sunflower, the Future Cactus variant also has a charge-up style weapon. Now if it's used effectively, it can do a lot of damage in a single shot, but it's also very effective in short bursts. Here's a quick look at the Hot Rod Chomper variant. We'll get back to him in a moment. Okay, the first wave is complete. Now the plants are getting ready for wave two. Here the Ice Pea Shooter is using his rooted Gatling attack to thin out the zombie horde from a distance. Now let's take a closer look at the Hot Rod Chomper variant. The Hot Rod Chomper has less health than a standard Chomper, but moves much more quickly by default. And for an added bonus, the Hot Rod Chomper gets a temporary speed boost every time he chomps his arm. We're going to jump ahead to a boss wave now. In Garden Ops, every three to four waves, Dr. Zomboss's slot machine will spin randomly to determine what enemies will appear in the next wave. Looks like we're getting a disco zombie and a random assortment of zombie horde in this next wave. To start this wave, the Mystic Sunflower is going to tangle with the disco zombie. Let's jump ahead in the action and have a look at the Ice Pea Shooter. The Ice Pea Shooter shoots frozen snow peas, which will freeze a zombie after a few consecutive shots. This is a pretty powerful tactic as it allows the Ice Pea Shooter to immobilize an enemy and his teammates to finish the job. Working as a team is crucial when battling bosses. Here the Pea Shooter, the Chomper, and the Sunflower are ganging up on the Disco Zone. Back to the Feature Cactus now, deploying some Walnut Barriers for cover, and her charged attack on another Disco Zone. The other plants are going to join the fray to help finish him off. Oh, 
With the boss wave complete, the plants can now regroup and get ready for the next wave. It looks like they're going to have to deal with a surprise attack from the zombie footballers. Every so often in Garden Ops, Dr. Zombosh will unleash an ambush wave using special classes of zombies. These zombie footballers are a handful. The plants need to stay on the move and try to take them down quickly. Feature Cactus is using her charged attack again to take out some footballers, but they just keep coming. The Mystic Sunflower is multitasking by healing the cactus and taking down a footballer at the same time. One of the plants was just knocked out by a footballer. His plant teammates have a limited amount of time to get him up and revive him. If all the plants get knocked down at the same time, they fail the mission and will need to start again. Looks like they managed to repel this surprise attack. We're going to jump forward a bit to another boss wave. <laughs> the plants are going to have their hands full as the Zomboss slots landed on a Giga Gargantuar, Yeti, and a Disco Zombie. The Cactus is deploying her Garlic Drone to get a better view of the action. Since Rat Wave 10, the zombie assault has really intensified, with several powerful zombie classes all attacking at once. Jumping back to the Pea Shooter now, picking off some zombies with the help of an Ice Shroom and a Fume Shroom. The Pea Shooter heads up to the treehouse to get a better view of his teammates battling the Giga Gargantuar. The Giga Gargantuar just smashed the Chomper, so the Pea Shooter uses his Hyper Speed ability to get to the Chomper quickly and revive him. And he just barely gets out of there with his life. Looking back from the treehouse, the Sunflower is using her rooted Sunbeam attack to finally finish off Giga Gargantuar. She then jumps down to street level to heal the ailing Pea Shooter. The zombies keep pressing nonetheless, she gets some quick healing and retreats back to the garden. With the zombies closing in, the cactus retreats back toward the garden to try and secure the base with her teammates. The plants still have to deal with the Yeti and Disco Zombie bosses. So now they've regrouped, they head out for the last push to finish off this wave. The Ice Pea Shooter engages with the Disco Zombie, but ends up getting stunned by the Yeti's freeze attack. Yeti Ice attacks will freeze plants and do a lot of damage, so the plant team needs to work as a team to take the Yeti out. After a flurry of frosty attacks, the plant team finally manages to defeat the Yeti Zombie 
and complete Wave 10. The plants have defended the garden for 10 waves. This last wave requires them to survive and fight their way to the landing zone, where Crazy Dave will pick them up in his flying RV. This final wave is absolute chaos, as Dr. Zomboss unleashes his whole army to try and keep the plants from escaping. Grab some friends and try out Garden Ops when Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare comes out this February on Xbox One and Xbox 360. Thanks for watching.